Hello everyone. Welcome back to Bridge is for Everyone. My name's Chad. This is topic 14 of the extension series. The topic is To No Trump Puppet Stamen. As with most conventions, Puppet Stamen was developed to overcome a specific bidding problem. Let's use an example to identify the problem. This is board EE1. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have six high card points and one long point, for a total of seven points. Your only short suit is a doubleton, so your hand is balanced, and your only biddable suit is diamonds. Partner opens the bidding with two no trump, and east passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. Partner's bid shows 20 to 21 high card points and a balanced hand. You add your seven points to partner's minimum of 20 for a partnership total of at least 27 points. This is enough for a game bid. You apply the rules from the Learn to Play series. You make a game bid of three no trump. West passes, partner passes, and East passes to end the auction. The contract is three no trump by North. East makes the opening lead, the seven of clubs. Let's look at partner's hand to see if your contract is likely to succeed. With any other lead, your contract would be virtually certain, but your opponents have found your weakness. Your partnership has only five clubs, with the highest being the ten. Your only hope is that your opponent's eight clubs are split 4-4. The likelihood of this is only 33%, under normal circumstances, but the lead of the seven, probably the fourth highest of East's clubs, reduces that likelihood significantly. Let's take another look at both hands and see if there was a better choice of contract. As I have stated many times, my first preference is always to play a major suit contract. Your partnership has a fit in spades, so a spade contract is a viable alternative. Even with a club lead, you should only lose two tricks before regaining control and making a game contract in spades. Let's state the problem exactly. When partner opens to no trump, with a five card major, and you have a three card fit in that major and enough points for a game contract, how do you find that suit contract? Let's go back to the example board and replay it using Puppet Stamen. As before, partner opens the bidding with two no trump and east passes. This time, you and partner have agreed to the puppet stamen response to a two no trump opening. Let's look at when and how to use puppet stamen. We'll start with when you can make a puppet stamen bid. First, partner opens with two no trump. Second, you have a three card or four card major suit. And third, you have enough points to make a positive response. As you saw in episode 24 of the Learn to Play series, this means you need four or more points. Now let's look at how to bid with Puppet Stamen. Puppet Stamen replaces standard stamen in the bidding system. The Puppet Stamen bid is the same as the standard stamen bid over two no trump. You start a puppet stamen sequence with a bid of three clubs. And it asks the same question. 
do you have a four or five card major? But as you saw in the requirements, unlike standard stamen, it does not guarantee a four card major. It can be made with a three card major. This means that the responses will be different as we shall soon see. Now let's return to our example. You have a three card major and enough points for a positive bid. You use Puppet Stamen and bid three clubs. West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. Let's look at the responses partner can use after your Puppet Stamen bid. The first preference is for partner to bid a five card major. With no five card major, but with a four card major, partner should bid three diamonds. And finally, with no four or five card major suit, partner should bid three no trump. Now, let's return to our example and continue the bidding. Partner applies the rules and bids three spades. And East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret Partner's bid. Partner's bid shows a five card spade suit. You know that you have a fit in spades and enough points for game. You bid four spades. West passes. Partner passes and East passes to end the auction. The contract is four spades by North. By using Puppet Stamen, you have reached the contract best suited to your partnership. The use of Puppet Stamen with this board was straightforward, but there can be complications. Let's look at another board. This is board EE2. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. This is the same hand you held in the previous board, and the bidding follows a similar pattern. Partner opens with two no trump. East passes. You make a puppet stamen bid of three clubs, and West passes. This time, partner bids three diamonds and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret Partner's bid. Partner's bid denies a five card major, but promises a four card major. You don't have four cards in either major, so you do not have a major suit fit, but you do have enough points for game. With a balanced hand, you bid, three no trump. West passes, partner passes, and east passes to end the auction. The contract is three no trump by north. You used puppet stamen to look for a major suit fit, but there was none to find. You return to no trump and once again, you are in a good contract. Now let's look at another board. This is board EE3. Partner is the dealer. Here is your hand. As always, you value your hand. You have five high card points and one long point, for a total of six points. You have two doubletons, so your hand is semi-balanced. And you have two biddable suits, spades and diamonds. Partner opens the bidding with two no trump, and East passes. This is similar to the previous board, and once again you make a puppet stamen bid of three clubs. West passes, partner bids three diamonds, and East passes. It's your turn to bid. You interpret partner's bid. As you have seen, Partner's bid shows a four-card major suit, but you don't know which major suit. This time, you do have a biddable major suit, 
so you need to tell partner which suit it is. This is where puppet statement is different and risky for novice players. You bid the major suit that you do not have. With four spades, you bid three hearts. And West passes. It's partner's turn to bid. Partner knows that you have four or more spades. If partner has a fit with your spades, they will bid game in spades. If they do not have a fit, they will bid three no trump. This time, partner bids four spades. And East passes. You are happy with the game contract, you pass. And West passes to end the auction. The contract is four spades by North. You have reached an excellent contract. Very importantly, this contract will be played by partner and their very strong hand will be hidden from your opponents. This is why your final suit bid was the major suit you did not have. It enabled partner to be declarer. There are some other situations that can arise when using puppet stamen. The first is where partner bids three diamonds over your three clubs and you have two four card major suits. You should bid your weaker major, hoping that partner has a fit with your stronger major. If partner then bids three no trump, you are guaranteed a fit in your weaker major and bid game in that suit. This is not ideal as you will play the contract, but it is a better choice than a difficult three no trump. The second is where you are 5-4 in the major suits. Puppet statement is not ideal in this situation as you won't be able to find the 3-5 fit in your long suit. I recommend you treat this situation as you would with two four-card major suits. There is a more complex bidding convention called Muppet Stamen that solves this problem, but it is even riskier, so I only recommend it for very experienced players. There are a few important points you should know about Puppet Stamen. Most of the suit bids in Puppet Stamen are artificial, including the three club bid itself. All these artificial bids are alertable. I just omitted these alerts from the example boards to make them easier to understand. Also note that there are some bidding continuations to Puppet Stamen that can be used to indicate slam possibilities. These are suitable for use by only the most experienced players. I am sure you can imagine they are artificial and easily misinterpreted. Puppet Stamen is a convention I like. If you and partner practice using it, I am sure it will add to your success. I highly recommend using it after a two no trump opening. This video looked at how and when to use the puppet stamen response after partner opens two no trump. Thanks for watching. If you found the video useful, please consider subscribing to this channel. Until next time, this is Jad reminding you that bridge is for everyone.